Well, it's a classic lesser of two evils thing, right? That's what most people are going to go there to vote for. You know, a lot of people are not enthusiastic about either choice, but they're going to pick their poison, so to speak. And uh, that's the way our runoffs work. Now, I wish we, uh, you know, I actually advocate for ranked choice voting, which makes the runoffs instant, so we don't have to wait weeks and have millions of taxpayer dollars spent and even more millions worth of ads that go on our airwaves that we're all tired of watching on YouTube and television. So I'll provide that solution uh, so we don't have runoffs ever again. Uh, took words right out of my mouth. A, a Kennesaw State professor had a, had a report recently that said runoffs are essentially a waste of everyone's time and money. Uh, and, and I was going to ask you about ranked choice, but clearly that's, that's a priority for you. Yeah, I think uh, if we can get ranked choice voting passed in the next legis legislative session, that will show that we want our democracy to be responsive, that we want those more choices and more voices for the voters, and also save the taxpayers time and money. And I say we should get it done. Uh, between Warnock and, uh, and Mr. Walker, uh, do you plan to support either of uh, these two candidates going forward? I'm not going to endorse either candidate. It's not my job to tell the voters where to place their vote and their trust. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach out to both campaigns and see if they want to come to a forum to speak to libertarian voters in long form, not one minute debate answers, but actually have a conversation. I'm willing to facilitate that conversation so they can speak to the voters themselves. Uh, and we'll just kind of, kind of wrap it up with this. Uh, Those eighty thousand some folks, what what would you tell them? What would you what would you say to them as they as they potentially head to, are unenthusiastic maybe about heading back to the polls again? What would you what would you tell these folks who support you? Well, I would tell them to pay attention to the two candidates that are left, listen to what they have to say, and if they speak a message that you agree with more than the other one, feel free to go vote or not vote if that's your choice. Your vote is your voice, and you have a right to use it if you so choose. I, don't th I think a lot of people don't talk about that. that, that Choosing, choosing to stay home while you know if you're registered, that's that's also a, that's also a message, right? Well, I think that uh, we see that uh, routinely. You know, if not voted was actually on the ballot, they would win nearly every election in this country, and that's something that the two-party system has facilitated as well. Again, that's the reason why we need more choices in our on our ballots, so we can get more people out to vote. All right. Is there anything else you would like to share with me that we didn't touch on? Um, you know. Uh, I was really honored to uh, get that 80,000 votes and be someone that 80,000 people could place their trust in. And uh, I'm going to keep speaking the message of maximum freedom for every person. What can libertarians do next time in, in the general? What can, you know, whether it's, whether it's the libertarian candidate for president or the next person running for governor or senator or running, you know, running against Senator Ossoff maybe, what, uh, what advice would you give them to uh, continue this success? Do exactly what I did. Get out and meet the voters exactly where they are and speak to their issues. Don't speak like you're a college professor. Speak like you're somebody who's having a real conversation with people because that's what resonates. You have to be able to connect with the voter and that's how they connect with your ideas. They have to connect with you as a person first. You can have the best ideas in the world, but if you're not ready to communicate that where the voters are, it will never ever resonate. So I tell all libertarian, all independent, all third party voters, take the time to go meet the voters where they are and knock on lots of doors.